Hi YouTube, this is Francesca via Breastfeeding Mamas. Um, I noticed there hadn't been a video done on this channel in a while, so I was going through our um, video requests, and I found a request for teething while nursing, so that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I didn't know exactly what you meant in terms of teething and nursing, but I'm just going to try to cover as many things as I think would be relevant to nursing. So. Um, first thing I want to say is a lot of times you'll hear, oh, your baby has teeth and you can't nurse when your baby has teeth or your baby is getting teeth that you think you've nursed long enough and um, that's absolutely false. You do not have to stop nursing just because your baby has teeth. If your baby's latched on correctly, um, you should not be able to feel the baby's teeth even when they have a full mouthful of teeth. Um, it should not affect nursing at all. Um, also, if you nurse while your baby gets teeth, it can actually help to promote proper um, teeth alignment and proper jaw development. So um, nursing can actually help them to have a nicer smile later on in life, so you definitely do not need to stop nursing just because your baby is getting teeth. Okay, so um, basically if teething is going to affect nursing, one of two things is going to happen. Um, either your baby will want to nurse all the time because, you know, they're hurting and they want comfort, so they want to nurse constantly. Or your baby doesn't want to nurse at all because it hurts and, you know, their gums hurt when they suck and they just don't want to nurse. So to address either of those things and to try to get your nursing patterns back to normal, you pretty much want to help to alleviate the baby's discomfort and to try some things that can make um, teething not hurt so much for them. So a couple things that you can try, obviously the most obvious thing is to use um, some sort of suspension liquid medication, um, Advil or Tylenol, um, the generic brand names if you want to buy like store brand are uh, Tylenol is acetaminophen and Advil or Motrin is ibuprofen. I personally like ibuprofen better, especially for teething pain, because it has an anti-inflammatory, so it works a little bit better, and it lasts longer, so you don't need to give it to the baby quite as often. So, um, if you don't like the idea of that, or, you know, you just want to save it for, you know, at night when the baby's waking up all the time, um, you can just try some other things as well. One of the things that you can try is uh, some homeopathic remedies. I know these have become very, very popular lately. Um, you can get a homeopathic teething gel. The tablets that you used to be able to get, at least the kind that I used, um, have been temporarily discontinued so that they can standardize their formula. But um, you can get the gel, you know, the kind that you put on their, on their gums. And um, you can also use actual specific herbs some herbs that can help with teething are um, Camilla, Calcarea, Belladonna, um, Clove Oil, I think that's all. Um, I used the teething tablets and the teething tablets had uh, Belladonna and Camilla, I think, in them and they worked really, really well. Also, when I had my wisdom teeth taken out, I had a dry socket. Holy crap, dry sockets, if you've ever had them, <laughs> they hurt really badly. And when I went to the dentist to get it, Fixed, they put some clove oil on it and it helped a lot, like it, it made such a difference. As soon as they put it on, I felt way better, so. Those are some homeopathic things that you can try. I'm not an expert, so, you know, when you go to get the homeopathy, you want to ask somebody, you know, the correct dosage for your baby and everything like that. A lot of times, cold can help to sort of, like, numb the, the pain on the on the gums. So um, some options for giving your baby something cold is obviously one of those teethers that you can put in the freezer or the fridge and they get cold. Um, frozen washcloths, just you know wet the washcloth down and then put it in the freezer. Um, if your baby's old enough you can freeze some fruit like pretty much anything. I don't know, bananas are a good one to freeze some bananas or you know um, and then put them in a mesh feeder. Um, just, you know, so that your baby doesn't choke or anything like that. They can sort of gnaw on that and that can sort of help. You can take a spoon and put it in the freezer and sometimes babies like to, um, chew on that. Um, another thing as far as teething toys are concerned, um, you can get vibrating teething toys. That sometimes helps babies. My older daughter was a big, big fan of the vibrating teething toys. My younger daughter doesn't really like teething toys that much. She kind of just likes to chew on her fingers. But um, if your baby doesn't like one kind of teething toy, try a different kind. Some babies will have one specific teething toy that's just like a miracle. So, you know, keep trying and don't despair if your baby rejects the first one that you get for them. Um, 
Another thing that I really like to do, um, I haven't really heard of anybody else doing this, but I found that my babies um, really like to be, you know, held and comforted and stuff, even if nursing hurts. So it was nice for them to be able to be held in like a nursing position, like the cradle hold or, you know, however I would normally hold them to nurse. And I would wear a necklace, one of those mommy necklaces that has like the bits that baby can grab and chew on and that really helped them to you know be held even if they didn't nurse to be held like they were nursing and to be comforted that way and to be able to chew on the mommy necklace to help to get some discomfort from the teething so that's something else that you can try um, another thing I wanted to say is some people like to use baby or gel um, the kind that you put on the gums and it numbs their gums um, some people are really against baby oil gel and they don't think that it should be used at all. I personally think if it helps your baby, go ahead, use it. But you shouldn't use it right before you want to nurse because what can happen is you put the stuff on their gums to numb it and it can go back onto their tongue and it can numb their tongue. And babies need to use their tongue to nurse properly. They need to use it to compress the breast. So if your tongue is numb, that's going to be kind of difficult. So I don't recommend doing that right before you nurse, using the orange gel right before you nurse. Okay, so now, as far as biting is concerned, um, there are a couple of things you can do to help stop biting. A lot of people have said to me, you know, yell out, scream in pain, and baby will get scared and, you know, stop biting you. I don't really like to do that because I don't want my baby to associate, you know, being scared with nursing, right? When my first daughter bit the first time, I screamed. I did. I was like, oh, oh my god, because, you know, it hurts painful but um, I don't think you should really do that on purpose what I like to do instead is to unlatch the baby and tell or you know release the baby because they're biting down and say no no biting you know be very firm in your voice and then if the baby does it again put the baby down on the floor um, that way instead of associating being scared with nursing the baby will associate oh I bite and I don't get my milk you know they'll associate biting with no booby and then they'll stop. Um, if your baby's a little bit younger and that doesn't work quite as well, I know Lorelai bit me at like four or five months and when I unlatched her and said, Lorelai, no, she just laughed and thought it was funny. So if your baby's younger and that doesn't work, um, what I do with Lorelai is I pretty much just bring her face into my breast and then um, she can't breathe through her nose and she needs to release to breathe through her mouth. I obviously don't like cut off her oxygen supply or anything like that. Um, I bring her nose into my breast, she unlatches right away, like it's pretty much instantaneous because they need to breathe before anything else and um, that helps her to stop biting. So that's what's worked for me, um, I hope some of that stuff has helped for you. If anyone has any questions or any requests, um, if it's specific to me you can leave it in the comments for this video and I'll see it and I'll do a video for you. Um, if you want something from one of the other ladies, like I know there was a request for nursing with big breasts, love to help you there. Can't really because I don't really have any experience in that area. But, um, so if there's things for other ladies, leave them on our channel wall, you know, we'd love to have some video ideas. Um, so I hope that everyone has a really great weekend and hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.